Hi guys, I'm Christina, I'm the sister of Claudia and I'm here to tell you today something about the Creality CR10S Pro V2. Um, I started printing about uh, a month ago and this is my uh, printer, the first printer I ever bought and so this is a beginner's review so if you're like an expert or something this video is not for you, it's for people that are just starting to print uh, like me. Um, and I want to show some good stuff, some bad stuff about Creality, uh, things that I liked and things that I disliked. So enjoy the video. I also wanted to be, give a big thank you to Akronse. Uh, sorry if I pronounced this wrong. To Steel Fox and to Chicken Burrito, please, for um, the Bulbasaur that I'm printing, and you will see it throughout the video. So, they are the designers, they remix it, so uh, check it out on Thingy. So, first, I will start with the dislikes, and number one is the bed. Uh, though the bed is very big, it's uh, at the beginning it was very sticky, it was very difficult for me to remove the prints from the bed. And later on the opposite happened, so what happened was um, the models wouldn't stick to the bed. I had to buy an adhesive uh, so that the models would stick to it or else uh, the model would be ruined. So imagine yourself printing for four or five hours, the model is almost finished and then like the upper part it's just broken. And I will show you an example of this. So this was a Pikachu I was printing and it was going great until it got loose and look what happened, it was almost finished. I was printing over for about two hours and it just broke off. Um, there was a lot of uh, curly stuff around it, so it stopped printing because the, the model moved. So to give you a comparison, this is how the print should have looked like and this is what came out. And thank you Jmol420 for putting this on Thingiverse, it's his model, so go check it out. And the reason I'm telling this is because my husband has the Prusa Mini and um, the bed that he uses is very sticky, he never had pr any problems with it and I have this printer for less than a month and I think about a week ago or something uh, the bed started to show uh, some unstickiness, to say it in some way. Um, so. That for me it's a kind of a con, I am now using an adhesive and it also doesn't work always that well so I'm thinking about buying another bed, a more, maybe like a flexi plate or something. Okay, the second and the third dislike for me or what I didn't like was that um, the, the materials are made of aluminium and what happens is when you have like a harder PLA such as the Polyterra PLA it can damage your machine, it happened to me I got a, a hole in it, it's cut through the aluminium, the PLA, and I had to ask for new parts at the seller and I had this printer for maybe three weeks, three and a half weeks. Um, and this brings me to my third dislike and the third dislike is that the filament holder is up top. So I think it has also to do with that. Uh, I had to buy a new filament holder that I could uh, put on the ground and uh, this problem didn't occur anymore so this is uh, something that they could improve like put the filament holder on the side or somewhere else or give a, another filament holder. Well another thing that I disliked was the printing time and I must say I compare it to the Prusa Mini, this, uh, this is the printer that my husband has. Uh, the Prusa Mini it prints so much faster than this printer and uh, when I looked it up online it gave like uh, different printing speeds, uh, some said it was a little bit quicker and the same as Prusa, others said it was slower but I didn't know until I bought the machine and the, it's about one third slower than the uh, Prusa so for example if I have a printing time of two hours for the Prusa I will, it will take me three hours when I uh, use the Creality The last thing I didn't like was the noise of the fan, it makes so much noise. Uh, I also saw this in other reviews but I didn't think it would be that bad until I got it at home. But it's, the noise continues, it's just constant noise, it doesn't matter if you're printing or not, if the machine is on you will hear the noise. Um, and well I compare this to the Prusa and the Prusa uh, also makes noise but once it's done it's done, it doesn't make 
that much uh, sound. Uh, so I think this is a point of improvement. I also have to say I didn't have any problems with uh, the fan. Uh, I saw some people that had problems with it. Uh, luckily it didn't happen to me. So I hope it stays that way. Now on to some things that I liked about this printer and that made me very happy. Uh, the first thing is the size of the bed. The size of the bed is very big, it's 30 by 30 by 40 and compared to the Prusa Mini it's uh, 18 by 18 by 18. So we had the opportunity to do much bigger prints and uh, not cut the designs in half or anything. So I'm very happy with uh, the size of the bed. Another thing that I liked very much was the detail of the prints. Um, well, I compare it to the Prusa because it's the only other printer that I have. But the details are so beautiful um, if you put it at the same printing detail. Um, in my opinion, the prints are much more detailed when I use the Creality than the Prusa. Um, and I don't know if it has something to do with the settings or the fact that I'm a noob. But I noticed a difference and some of my family members did too. So the details are just beautiful. It makes beautiful prints. Another thing that I liked was that it was very easy to assemble. Um, I'm not technical or anything, but I had read the instructions and it was very easy to do. My husband did help me, um, but it's because I don't have that much force uh, in my hands. So. Uh, it was easy assembly. Uh, I think it took about 15 to 20 minutes to assemble it with clear instructions. I didn't have any problems with it. Um, so this is another thing I liked very much. Another thing that I liked is that it's very user friendly. Uh, it has for example a touch screen. It's uh, very easy to uh, feed and to refuel. Uh, another thing that I liked about the user friendliness is the auto bed leveling. I didn't have any problems with it. Um, you can just uh, while printing put uh, the axis up or down so this is a, another thing that I like as a beginner uh, it's not very difficult to manage this machine so this was my review of the Creality CR10 S Pro V2 which is a mouthful uh, I hope you liked the review and again um, I'm a beginner at 3D printing I've been 3D printing for less than a month uh, and one tip I want to give everyone is always read the reviews. It helped me choosing this printer because I was first looking for another printer and the reviews were so bad that I decided to look for another one. Um, so always read the reviews. You can watch, read it everywhere. Look for example on Amazon. That's where I read the most reviews but also on other websites about 3D printing. I hope you liked the video and we'll see each other soon. Bye!